Describe the number negative 2.75. Well, the giveaway here is this part right here, the 0.75. That tells us it's a rational number because it has a part to it. It is not an integer because it has the part to it. It is not a whole number. So that's all it is. Check all that apply to describe the number 14. Well, 14 is actually a whole number. It also makes it an integer because those are positive, negative, whole numbers, and then that also makes it a rational number. Simplify the number of the square root of 49. The answer to that is 7 because 7 squared is 49. Order the numbers from least to greatest. Always underline least to greatest. So you want to change them all to probably decimals in this case. So we have a negative 4.21, we have a 10, 0.75, negative 4 squared means negative 4 times negative 4, that gives us 16, negative 5.3, and then the square root of 100. Well, we know it's between 10 and 11 because 10 squared is 100, 11 squared is 121. So can you see how close 102 is to 100? Uh, that would tell me that this is about would estimate 10.1. Now let's put them in order. We see the smallest one here is your negative 5.3. So you have to put them back in the original order. And then the next one is the next smallest is negative 4.21. Now our next one going up, we have a 16 here. We have about a 10.1 here and a 10.75. So our next one going up would be the square root of 102. The next one would be 10 and 3 fourths. Do you see how I'm writing them back in the original form? And then negative 4 squared is 16. So negative 4 squared. And there's your answer. Again, be sure and read that it's least to greatest and put it back in the original form.